I think it's bad that sometimes I forget that this is a romance webtoon. Sometimes I forget that the point of this webtoon, the goal, the ending, or maybe just the ideas of this webtoon are based in ideas of romance. The idea of romantic love. The purpose of loving someone else. While I haven't been forgetting that romantic aspect in this latest arc, especially due to how romantic, let's say, Sam has been acting, it still felt weird that when I talk about the characters in this series, I forget that romantic aspect. Maybe it's due to the characters I've talked about, but I've talked about Charles, an actual love interest. But the point is that even in a romantic setting, many of these characters are that. Are good characters, are established characters. Not solely defined by romantic relationships. Mainly focusing on developing the characters before the relationship. Most of the time. Our next character kind of does it the other way around. Focusing on the romantic relationship and then developing the character. Lincoln Link Hudson. First appears in episode 3. Doesn't have a ton of development, complaining about someone stealing toilet paper and helping Sam feel a little better about her game, tanking due to martial law. This first episode really shows us how much he cares about Sam. Something that's pretty important to who he is. And we get to see this in episode 8. Now something interesting is the divide between gamers and non-gamers. Sam plays video games. She is deep into the culture of that, even designing her own games. And this reflects in many of her hobbies, especially her friends, her guildmates, who she watches on that weird form of YouTube that they change the name of for legal reasons. The point is that Sam surrounds herself with people and things that reflect her interest. However, I wouldn't say Link is one of those. When Sam is explaining her situation, while he, as he puts it, knew some of those words, he's still confused on what it all meant. All that is interesting, because he's not a gamer, but he's not only still friends with Sam, but also romantically interested in her. As the next time we see him engage her in some of her interests, her app and such, he awkwardly blushes and proceeds to ask her out. Uh, Sam, I was wondering, do you have plans Friday nights? The newest Mason Dorn movie will be out, and I thought we could see it if you're interested. Oh, right, I guess I knew that. You guys come here on Fridays for your caffeine fix before you play for the night. What about Saturday afternoon? I know this beautiful place you could take a hike. Eventually being rescued by a co-worker from this incredibly awkward scenario. Now, I wouldn't say I'm an expert on love. God, no, I'm not. But something tells me that being this romantically awkward towards someone who is showing no signs of being romantically interested in anyone, well, there must be a reason for it, right? Well, there is. And it wouldn't be interesting if it wasn't also incredibly depressing. Years before, Link's father was at the hospital. Yeah, he has end-stage lung cancer. He's been fighting it for a while. He's become too weak to keep it up. He's the strongest man I've ever known. To see him like this, I... It's just that I wish there was something I could do. Eventually breaking down and venting to Sam and becoming close friends with him. You helped me stay sane during the worst time of my life. You introduced me to your friends and made sure I never felt alone. When I was in the darkest place of my life, you were a beacon of light that made sure I never lost my way. And when the time came, we could have easily drifted apart. You made sure we never lost touch. I said near the end of my last Let's Play video that I believe that we are defined by difficulties. That who we really are comes out in moments of pain, misery, fear. And it molds us to who we become in the future, shaping us for the better or for the worse. And we get to see both sides to this with Link and with Dallas. I said in my Charles video that Let's Play doesn't really have villains. And while I relatively stand by that, I will say that although I'm not covering him, Dallas is a punk. I think Link and Mr. Young establish how people grow and develop through suffering. But I think Dallas is a little punk who doesn't understand responsibility over females and for some reason steals toilet paper. Meanwhile, I believe Link grows from it. 
I'll talk about that a little later, but more importantly, that pain and suffering made him close to people, and to someone specifically, Sam. Sam was his beacon, his light during a dark time. The person who made him see the lighter side to the situation. A person who made him realize he's not alone. He grows close to Sam. And is the main reason he falls for him. And we get to see this infatuation when it comes to their cute little date at the dog park. When we get a reverse Uno situation, where Sam asks Link out. Even when she doesn't really know it's a date. You know that classic romantic cliche where two people are going out on a date, but they don't really know it's a date, but they don't both kind of want it to be a date. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, we get to see a cute little date at the dog park. Seeing Link being caring to both Sam and her dog, Bowser. By making sure the anime nosebleed is okay and giving Bowser a little frisbee to play with. And here's where we see a reoccurring aspect of this webtoon. Or, I guess a reoccurring aspect for Link. And maybe one or two other people. Let's Play does a great job with symbolism, with the emo coons, with the hearts, but as well as with the animals. While not as prevalent to the story as the other two aspects, the animal symbolism is used a couple times, but really only with Link. And Marshall once, but the point is that it's mainly used with Link. Link is often linked, ha, get it? <clears throat> to lions. His spirit animal, I guess, is a lion. And according to this, hmm... Very professionally looking sights, the lion is a diverse symbol. Its most common traits are majesty, strength, courage, justice, and military might. It can be both solar and lunar. Commonly referred to as the king of the beasts. It is a symbol of kingly power and might. But as the lioness is, it is commonly re related to the great mother and protection. Sure, they misspelled referred, but that's not the point. The point is that last part, protection. Link is a protector. And that lion aura comes in when Link is protecting something he cares about. We first see this with Sam and Bowser and this big old dog. When Link stands between them, we see that lion, that protective aura emerge. Which, understandably, scares the dog. And we get to see that lion again when it comes to martial law. I'm actually surprised how much martial law affects people that don't really know who he is. When martial law appears at the coffee shop, Angela goes into her berserk mode and wants to knock him out. But we see Link hold her back, and we see this glare. I wouldn't say that this is a glare of hatred, but I'd say it's pretty dang close to it. And we get to see that exact glare when they meet again, even crushing his hand when they shake hands. Now, that lion is meant to be a sign of protection. It's meant to show his protective nature. And while it first appears for Sam, it also appears twice for Angela. While one of the times it shows up as a cute little lion when he finds out she's ticklish, but the more important moments is the next time. Angela is an interesting character. I'm going to discuss her at another time. What you should know right now is that she's aggressive and as Sam puts it, Angela's been in a dark place for a while, and Link simply responds with, I can relate to being in a dark place. Link understands what it means to be in a difficult situation. While not exactly in the same position as Angela, he understands pain and suffering, and what is needed when someone is in that situation. You know, I don't think I ever thanked you for helping me through my dad's death. You helped me so much during that time. Link understands the importance of someone being with you in a tragic or painful part of your life, which is where we see the other lion come in. This moment, when Angela's apologizing, Link sees her pain, and in a beautiful moment of symbolism, we see an actual dark place, with no one around, just people in pain. But we get to see a light, Sam, a beacon as Link calls her. And while he runs towards her, Link sees that Angela's trapped by her fear. She's immobilized by it. Link wants to help, but is confused, as we see that this is his younger self, his less mature self. But after Sam helps him, he realizes that he could be someone else's light, that he could be someone else's beacon, which is what he chooses to be. We see that lion come out, that protective nature. He forgives Angela giving her the forgiveness that she needs, and even helping her out the gym and stuff. 
I think this moment shows that anyone can help anyone. We've all been through difficult situations and we all understand what we needed at that time. I think Link shows us that we could be the person that someone needs at this moment. But before going any further, we should discuss his relationship with Sam. Or more accurately, how the Link x Sam ship ended. When Sam invites Link to stay the night, wink wink, Link can't bring himself to even kiss her. And we get to hear his explanation when talking to Angela. I wasn't trying to lead Sam on. I deeply care for her. But every time we try to get intimate, it's a kick in the gut. It's like trying to kiss my sister. It just felt wrong. She asked me to stay the night. What will you have me do? Sleep with her? Take her first time? Please understand that I'm not the type of guy to fool around with girls. I've never had a one night stand. I've only been intimate with one other girl, and that's because I thought I was going to marry her. Link is a good person. He's a protector. And yes, at times he could be mean, maybe crush someone's hand is a bit far. But he's only like this when he's protecting someone, holding someone back from breaking the law like Angela. That's why I'm putting Lincoln Link Hudson into neutral good, a protector. Someone who wants to help people and protects them from the people who hurt them. And simply a good friend, someone who understands what people need. But that's just me. What about you? Do you like Link? Do you remember that during a character vote he placed first? That's cool. But leave it in the comments. And like always, thank you for watching.